the number one thing that I hate reading is when these mad old men have to comment and diss on girls basketball. It's just crazy that we threaten them so much and their masculinity or whatever makes them mad about it that they feel the need to try to tell us that we're never gonna make it and we're always gonna be less than boys. And people are always in the comments saying that we need to go back to the kitchen, like make, make them a sandwich, like no, make your own sandwich and we'll go make the money. Are you gonna be turning on music today? Worm, you on the ox? Hey, don't you want to know what language this is? Language? It's my language. I speak this. Rolly, red face, Rolly, hey. My generation is a little more saucy, a little, we're a little bit. We're evolving to like the boys. We want to score and we want on those flashy plays. Like we're making them give us attention. You all right? <laughs> what it is, what outside. <laughs> Just let me be me. It definitely is growing too in younger uh, girls and uh, we're gonna bring it even more and eventually they're not gonna be able to avoid us. <laughs> Some big bodies. I mean, I definitely do enjoy the flair, but I can be fundamental too, and I really love defense, um, and I'm pretty intense. So um, it is, it's saucy, but it's also serious, and uh, it's business out there for me. Uh, after my team practice, my dad trains me for an hour and a half or so. That's where the fun starts. I don't really count my team practice though. That's mandatory, everyone does their team practices. You can see a lot of the difference, um, especially now since we're all in high school and uh, you can't just live off athleticism anymore. Uh, you can see, especially who I grew up playing AU with, who's still working and who's not anymore. My dad kind of grew me up in this culture of uh, always working. And so I have, I don't really know anything else. What's on the playlist right now? I don't know, I kind of have a mix. I have a lot of NBA young boy on it because he's my favorite rapper. He is the GOAT. Uh, Pre-game, a lot of Drake. Sometimes like, Meek. I do like Little Baby and Gunna. I will say, I do like them. Sometimes I'll put Juice World on it. But I don't know, I have to be in a weird mood for that. This is my dad. He's taught me everything I know about basketball, so he's the reason that I am what I am today, and he's a... Uh, uh, that's not true. We put a lot of work in. We put a lot of work in. Haley was different when she was little. Um, she had... She had goals, she loved watching basketball. She watched all the grades and she was very early. She was like, Dad, I want, I want to do that. I watched a lot of Ray Allen. Yeah. I used to have one of those like little DS things and I would like take pictures of like the, the computer screen of his, like the YouTube video of him shooting and I'd like put it on there and I'd draw on it like the things that he was doing with his, on my little like pink DS. I still remember that. I don't know where it's at anymore, but I used to do that all the time. You know, people talk about, you know, do you, do you get nervous? Does Haley get nervous? And Haley kind of loves the big game. She just, she loves the atmosphere of basketball. And, and, I, and I believe that comes from preparation. I mean, just the, just the process of preparing. I mean, when you put in, hour and a half, two hours a night, every day for, my God, what, Haley, six, seven years? He definitely taught me all I know about talking trash in the game. I'm not a big trash talker, but like, if you come from me or my teammates, like, I don't mess around with that. Like, I'll say something back, but I've heard, I've heard that Michael Jordan was a big one. So I'm, I, don't, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a competitive thing. 
every once in a while she's like i'm sore i'm this and it's like get your butt down there there's other you know somebody else is getting better and that's all i gotta say and then we're down in the gym i was not a shooter like two years ago i really wasn't it wasn't your strength yeah, it just wasn't i your could strength. shoot but like if you if your game plan was to sag off of me you you could uh you could guard me kind of so but this year it's a different game plan. Cause I can shoot now. <laughs> this is the perks of living 30 minutes away. You have to pack your whole car full of clothes. We are leaving the high school for lunch. We don't like get to go to lunch together all the time, but uh, today's a special day, game day. Uh, those are the Graces. They're two of my best friends and they play on the team with me. It snows too much for me here. Hey, why didn't you show up? I didn't know. You didn't know. I didn't know. Yes, you did. I didn't know until this morning. We were supposed to play one on one last night. He doesn't want the smoke. One week later. Good move. That should be three points. There is nothing going on here. People like miss like weeks of school to go hunting. Okay. It's crazy out here. No, basketball, that's what you do. Kashmir, like basketball is really big, so the whole like town comes out. about all that do you care about that stuff um i do care it's a label for sure that people use when they talk about me or my name so i do care but it definitely does not define the type of basketball player i am at the end of the day it's uh, when we match up it's who can play and who can be better so the rankings don't mean anything in the game you don't get extra points because you're ranked higher than the other person next to you just moved into this house so like not everything is so put away yet yeah so I actually am kind of a sneakerhead um, but I'm really into white shoes right now so my last three shoes that I got are all white which I don't know if that's a good thing this is my favorite pair right now Bear Maxes my next probably favorite are my purple Timberlands yes I am on the Tim wave um, and then probably these are my third favorite so I'm different. I don't dress like a lot of people from around here. It's just crazy um, the recognition that girls basketball has got in these last couple years and how much it's grown. My generation of basketball players has got to keep it going and it is amazing because I do have a lot of people that look up to me and I'll get random messages saying that I inspire them and I change their life and I am the reason they play basketball. And I think that's crazy because I have always thought of other people like that, like I'm someone's role model now when I used to always idolize other players and it's crazy because I'm only 17 and I'm just this teenager and I make, I mess up all the time, but uh, yeah, it's, 
it's it's fun, but it's scary at the same time. This is my FIBA World Cup gold medal that I won with my 12-man team. And then this is my Youth Olympic gold medal. This one is heavy. This one is very heavy. Honestly, the best advice I ever got was um, put the round thing in the round thing. For basketball, that's all I try to do. There's, I don't care how it happens, all I'm trying to do is put the round thing in the round thing. If I pass it to get it in the round thing, if I shoot it to get it in the round thing, like, that's what I'm trying to do. That's the Harden.